the biggest misconception that people have about my job is that I delegate all my work to artificial intelligence. Well, that's definitely not at all true. Something interesting about me, I do love to spend a lot of time in cricket pitches over here. And professionally, I automate developer workflows for feature developers at Google Search. The best advice for young developers joining the industry. It can be difficult in such paradigm changing times, but trust the basics and focus on the fundamentals. Secondly, modifying the code is a lot more difficult than writing it from scratch. So make sure that the first version of your code is the best version. And lastly, the most underrated one, document your observations and thought process elaborately. It is going to help you in the longer run. The biggest adoption roadblock for new tech in AI is trust. I feel that the enterprises are skeptical in sharing their data with third-party applications for AI models. And I see a huge scope in making AI models transparent and gaining the trust of the enterprises. When we talk about countries like India, AI has a huge scope because India is a diverse country, diverse food, diverse culture and lots of data for personalization. It can be any sector, retail, healthcare and particularly education. Now imagine someone is recording my cricket practice sessions and then AI tells me this is how you can improvise your timing and placement and you can improve your stance. So AI, data, India, personalization all sings amazingly. To build smart cities in India, AI has immense potential. My personal favorite, obviously because I'm based out of Bangalore, is how we can manage the traffic issues. We already have the infrastructure in place, we have the data available with us on the cloud, we can leverage the AI offerings of cloud solutions to monitor how the traffic flows from one junction to the other using the fast tag readers not to detect the toll, but to understand how the traffic flows. Using that, we can ensure that the traffic signals are optimized on the fly. And we can also do predictive modeling to understand five years down the lane, which junction is going to give the best return of investment to build a bridge or an underpass.